I had a student who had two kids before he graduated high school and I just found out that he has another on the way and he's only 19 so I have to wonder did anyone have the talk with him. When my daughter gets older, I know I want her to learn about birth control and sex for me because if I don't tell her, who will? Hola, this is Angelica Perez, your I Voice Latina from New York. I'm about to have a conversation with Joanna Ferreira, a talented, smart Latina with a BA in journalism, still looking for employment. My mom tells me every day, you know, I have days where I'm discouraged and I just want to throw in the towel and get like a regular nine to five. And she always tells me, you know, we didn't raise you like that. So there was this recent Gallup poll that came out that said expecting parents prefer to have a boy over a girl. Clearly these are expecting parents who don't have a whole mess of boys at their house. I, I never really dreamed about having tea parties in my house with my daughter or painting toenails together or going shopping for pretty little cupcakes for our birthdays. Those weren't dreams that I had. Monsters, dirt, and flying jump kicks are exactly what my life was meant to be. The big challenge with organic food is the price. It's 30 to 40 percent more expensive to eat organic food than not organic food. And particularly when the economy took a downturn last year, my partner and I needed to discuss exactly how we were going to get by and keep this commitment. So $30 for a raw chicken? I'm thinking that chicken better have been fed caviar and champagne and cuddled at night while watching TV. Do you think it was worth it? Yes, it was worth it. I mean, it tastes much, much better. And in the end, it's what we need to do for our kids. But that means that we don't have chicken every day. Hi, this is Selena Gill your Washington DC I voice coming straight from my kitchen. And I wanted to talk to you all today about something that everyone has experienced at least once in their life, losing a loved one or a friend. I lost my older brother Andre to AIDS and losing him was a really tough thing for us to go through as a family. And my mother having to bury a child was really hard for her. Later in 2006, my mother died of breast cancer. My mother's the person that I would turn to and I would call when something was wrong and when something uh, was right. I really miss her. I really, really miss her. 